Hi, I'm Art Sicati, uh, owner of Sicati Art Glass. The kind of things that I do at this point in time, I do, well, I do a lot. I do anything anywhere from paperweights, uh, vases, flowers. I make fish, I make starfish, I make seahorses, I, I make uh, shells, I make a lot of aquatic items. I do memorial work. Uh, people bring me their, their ashes from their loved ones or their pets, and uh, I incorporate those into glass. I do wedding orders, uh, where people do glass wedding ceremonies. Price-wise, my the items that I produce vary anywhere from $20 to $450, $500. dollars just depends on what it is that's that's being ordered. A lot of people are interested in uh, the, the process of glass blowing. A very interesting area. I, there's a lot of history behind it. But basically, for me, when I'm making, let's for instance, a, a vase. A blown item. I start with a gather on a, on a blowpipe, a small gather, blow a small bubble, and then I build up the glass material on the end of the pipe through successive gathers through my uh, glass blowing furnace. Uh, my, my furnace runs 24/7. The blowing temperature on that 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 particular piece of equipment is uh, 2100 degrees Fahrenheit. During the process of making the piece, we frequently reheat it to keep it. Uh, up to temperature, otherwise it'll crack. This is not like, it's not like uh, ceramics where you can start on a piece, then just keep it damp and let it set it aside. With this, once you once you start on a, a piece of glass, then you have to you have to finish it or it, it cracks. And then at the end of the process, when you're done with the with the uh, with the piece, you have to put it into another hot uh, box called an annealer overnight to to take out any stresses in the glass and then. And from, from there on out, once it's annealed, then it gets cooled down slowly. Um, a lot of people come through here and, and watch me work on stuff and they always leave saying, God, I, I didn't realize it took so much to make a piece of glass. And it does. It, it, that's why hand-blown glass is an expensive commodity because of the fact of the overhead that every glass blower has to, to make products he does. Thanks for uh, viewing this video about Sakati Art Glass. I want to thank the uh, Ames Community Arts Council for providing the opportunity to be able to do this. Our studio is open uh, for whoever wants to come out and visit. It's free and uh, come out and spend some time out here and see how glass is actually made firsthand. Thank you.